So this one was my first end. I got an X, I got an X, and I barely got an X on that top one. Hey guys, Frank here. I wanted to quick do a review of what we are dubbing the Corona Drill. Uh, we have some team members from our online team that are um, basically not able to get to their archery ranges due to the coronavirus. And it's this is actually a drill that's part of our current programming, um, but it's you know like a once a week thing. But you could really get a few variations out of this. So I'm posting this video, we're gonna share it with everybody. So for those of you that are affected by this or whether it's sickness and you're sick and you don't wanna go out um, or your ranges are shut down because of state of emergencies, who knows what, um, it gives you just maybe a little option to get reps in, to do some meaningful training and not get stuck not shooting. So we call this the 30X drill or the three meter drill. Um, it's now being dubbed the Corona drill. Uh, what this drill is meant for is you start at like three meters and shoot for 30 X's in a row. I tell uh, the kids that shoot this drill as part of our program at Grass Hollow Archery, as well as the team members we have online. I always say, don't attempt any more than 45 arrows, then move on to whatever your next thing is. Um, I mean, if you really want to, you could shoot it as long as you want to. It's a great way to get in high volume and, and still have a, a goal-driven purpose for shooting. Um, and it takes the focus off of, and it trains your brain to not focus on the value of the arrow. But we're, instead, we're focusing on a goal, and the goal is to hit the X. It takes the same amount of determination to hit the X three, five meters as it does at 18 meters. So... There's definitely a lot of carryover and you realize that you have to stay with the shot and it forces you to stay with the shot longer, even though it's really close and you get really confident and you're like, oh, this will be no problem. Then you quickly realize that keeping it in the, you know, a, a hole that's this big is uh, really not that easy. So what we're going to do is just show you kind of the basics of what that would look like. So I'm gonna set up my shot and I'm gonna run my shot exactly how, how I would normally. I may crawl a little bit further down just because it's easier to find where you have to aim then. Um, I end up oftentimes aiming at the bottom of the nine, trying to find my crawl for the bottom of the nine. So I'm gonna go off of my regular 20 yard crawl and see where I hit. Honestly, I don't do this drill enough. So this is basically me running through it because I haven't done this nearly enough myself so I shot top of the nine as you can see I aimed at the bottom of the nine so I'm going to crawl um, I'm gonna go let's see here Two big Yost lines. So it'll be one, two, three total. No, four Yost lines. Um, so it'll be one big, small one, a big one, and then a small one. And that's where I'm going to take one, two, three, four. my crawl to, and then I'm going to aim at the bottom of the nine. All right, I am top of the X. So I'm gonna go one more Yost line. So I am, looks like three big lines down. And I'm about, I'm still 12 o'clock on the top of the X. So that's not too bad. But what this does, I found my crawl. Uh, I'm still aiming, lollipopping, bottom of the nine. Obviously it's a different sight picture because we're so close. But I'm going to now shoot 30 arrows in a row. And I'm not allowed to move to five meters until I hit 30 X's in a row. So let's give that a try. This is a great alternative training drill. Um, 
or honestly, it doesn't have to be an alternative. This is something you, sh you could easily do once a week to, to really al allow you to get an extra reps and have some fun with it, really. So I'm gonna find my crawl. One, two, three, four, five. I might be just outside the X. Still hitting a little high, so I'm gonna go one more Yost line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still top of, top of the X, but it's still in. Got it, so I ended up going seven total lines from my normal crawl. Still allows you to get the same sight picture. You get the tip of your arrow at the bottom of the gold, and you still have to remain disciplined to stick with the aim, let it settle, but what's nice about it is because you're so close, it's easier, it's a little more comfortable for you to be able to just hold it there and kind of like chill and still concentrate on your form. So try that, the Corona drill, dubbed from the three meter 30x drill if you can do it at three meters move to five meters if you can do it at five meters move to 10 meters and then switch it over to um after 10 meters get away from the x's and switch it over to uh holding all tens at 15 meters 10 15 10 meters 15 meters and then 20 obviously if you get to 20 and shoot 30 tens in a row you give me a call all right good luck with that all right this is drill number two for those of you that have lost access to your ranges for both indoor outdoor and you need some work to do and i'm going to go through a progression that we do here pretty often especially for those who suffer with um, some pretty significant target panic and you're having a hard time holding or getting to full draw but this is still a this is still a good progression to run through even if you're just training. And what that is, is it's you compartmentalizing the shot. What we do uh, here at GHA now, oftentimes what we'll do is we'll do a 20 yard or 18 meter or a 50 meter, whatever, draw hold. So you draw back, hit anchor, you lollipop your arrow or wherever it is that you aim for that distance and you hold, count to 10 in your head um, and then let down. What that does is that does two things. One, it um, suppresses the anxiety of having to let go um, because we get so often get outside of our process. We put the tip of the arrow up and then all of a sudden we wanna let go. So doing the draw holds, visualizing the aim, it allows you to be more comfortable with it. So what the progression is, is you do the draw hold first, then you come over and shoot a blind bail and then you go over and shoot a regular shot. Now, we're providing this drill as an alternative to being able to shoot 18 meters. So what we're going to do is we are going to stand here and do our normal draw hold. We're gonna draw back. We're gonna, and the other thing I do, I recommend you do, you don't have to hit middle, you can just aim off or whatever, is go with your regular crawl. Don't, for this, because we're really trying to mimic the perfect shot at 18 meters or 50 meters, go with that crawl so that your anchor is the same and that the feel is the same. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm asking you that question as if I'm gonna get an answer. So I'm gonna go with my regular crawl. I'm gonna draw back, I'm gonna do my normal draw hold.
when you count your 10 seconds, it's one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's a full second or more, take your time. And as we talked about in the last podcast, and you've heard me say a million times, and uh, what John Demmer, who really is the one who coined the phrase, enjoy the aim. So enjoy the aim. Now I'm gonna shoot a blind bell. Strong bow arm, strong finish. I, my, you know, signature finger drag. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna shoot my spot. I'm gonna put them all together. I'm gonna finish the full shot. We have a tendency to take shortcuts. Uh, when we are shooting really close or when we shoot blind bail and we just draw back, boom, it's so easy to just draw back, get there, let go. We can't do that. We have to stick with the drill. We have to stick with the full shot. I want you to extend your follow through. I want you to really go after um, exactly what your competition shot's gonna feel like. I hope this helps some of you guys out that are gonna be stuck at home and have a a round, or a round bale or a block or whatever that you can shoot in a garage and an apartment. Again, uh, facilitate safety and be very, very careful. We're not telling you to do that. We're just saying if you were doing that on your own, these might help you. All right, good luck. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching the Bearboat Project.